Welcome guys and uh, girls to another video of track speed. It's uh, late August here in Greece, so as you can imagine the weather is uh, really hot. Uh, I hope most of you had a nice summer break as we did. Uh, but uh, we are back early, so we can prepare uh, all those uh, beautiful machines uh, for you to enjoy. Uh, first, you can see our beloved uh, Radical SR3. Uh, I had a few kilometers uh, during the summer uh, with Nikos, so it's back uh, for maintenance. Uh, bolt check, uh, oil change, uh, uh, do some uh, checks uh, with the GDU unit and uh, check all the hubs and uh, bolts so it's ready uh, for some action uh, in the coming track days. Behind me you can see our newest addition to our fleet. It's a proper race car this time. Uh, you showed so much love for the black Civic EP3 that uh, is currently on our fleet. So we decided to build an even better one for you. Uh, this one has a FIA roll cage, has a uniball suspension, front and rear, uh, two-way adjustable suspension, uh, proper tune and uh, gearbox setup uh, specifically for the track. Uh, we have uh, rebuilt K20 with some mods on the car, uh, fresh gearbox, uh, fresh fluids. And uh, now we are actually in the setup of uh, the electronics. The car is going to have uh, a new race uh, wiring, uh, complete wiring uh, of the car. It's going to have a uh, proper screen, PDM, so it will be up to date for 2023 standards. I hope it will be available for you uh, early September. You're going to see also a lot of components uh, in the pre actual presentation of the car that is uh, completely different uh, on the club sport uh, prepped, black one, EP3, and on the actual uh, race car. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, videos with EP3 because we're gonna do a club sport versus uh, race car, so you can have uh, the pretty, uh, pretty clear uh, view of uh, what changes needs a uh, car in order to be a club sport and uh, what changes, uh, what extensive changes it needs to be uh, like a proper race car. And of course, uh, what's the difference on the track? <music> Further back, uh, you can see the icon. Uh, you can see Costa's car. Uh, it's actually ready. Uh, I know this is, this is a bit of a spoiler uh, for him and uh, One Lap Heroes, but uh, his calls is always like, where is my car? People are calling, blah, 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 and saying this and saying that. So yes, the car is ready, he's getting some uh, uh, suspension tuning and uh, we're gonna start uh, extensive testing in uh, this uh, uh, coming months. You're gonna have to wait for uh, the One Lap Heroes presentation. Uh, we just want to give you a little spoil that uh, the car is actually ready and uh, it's gonna see some action uh, pretty soon. <laughs> So we left the workshop a few minutes ago and uh, we are uh, back on track at our premises here at uh, Serre Circuit. Behind me you can see uh, all of our fleet is uh, track ready and uh, waiting for you to enjoy. This September uh, we will have the addition of two new cars. Uh, the one Civic, uh, the race car that is prepped now by uh, the guys at the workshop and uh, the other one is a big question mark but uh, I think most of you will uh, like it. Uh, it's a really special car uh, for us also. Our uh, main event uh, here at Traxfit is uh, at the end of October, uh, four days. The two first days are actually for uh, Porsche owners only and uh, the rest uh, two days are uh, for all the clubsmen that uh, usually uh, come to our track day. Uh, as it's already known, we can only have entry fees, uh, entries for uh, 35 cars max, so try to book your place uh, as early as possible. And we have another uh, endurance event at the end of uh, November, uh, where of course you can join with your own car or you can uh, join with one of our uh, uh, rentals. Uh, more info on this on uh, the coming videos and uh, also uh, like, subscribe, stay tuned uh, for more content uh, on our side. Uh, see you at the track.